What is going on guys? My name is Moto and today you're going to be watching some Max vs. ADV Supercross Encore here today on the channel. Now, this video is going to be the Phoenix Supercross 2017 review here in Glendale. As you guys know, it is in Glendale. Glendale, Glendale, Glendale. Anyway, um, to kind of start off this video, we're riding the 250, so the lines are going to be different for the 450, and I will explain that in the video. Um... So overall, I have to say this is one of the best tracks that they've dropped. Uh, obviously, they've only dropped four, um, and all of them have been really, really good, but I think that this and San Diego are the best two that have come so far. Anaheim has just not been satisfying to me. So anyway, let's just jump right into the slow lap preview. So you come off the gate into a nasty, long, long, long straight here, and I got to slow down into the corner because you get a ton of speed rolling through here. Um... The best line for 250s and even 450s is to try to quad or five into it and then do the opposite out. So quad or five into it and then quad or five out of the section. Um, I tend to normally try to quad, uh, quad, quad single out just because that's easier to me. Um, you get this nice little kind of normally what I'm doing is I'm tripling into this um, and then quadding to this and tripling out to here. And doubling out but there's a lot of different lines through here um, then you come to the first supercross triple which is actually really easy to scrub and then you got a nice nice supercross triple here which you are able to quad into the section hit a triple triple um, that's the fastest way to go through there and you got another nice little triple here right into some nasty gnarly whoops uh, that you can mess up very easily um, into a nice little corner into this start straight now this is probably one of the hardest corners to get right because if you mess it up, you're going to fly right off the track. Um, if you slow down too hard, you'll fly right off the track. But anyway, you get into that berm. It's a really flowy berm. If you can if you can hit it, you go really fast through the tunnel into this nice 360 or 270 sand section. Scrub over that. Some people are tripling, um, tripling out of that and then singling or something and quadding out, whatever it is. I don't know hard to hit i don't hit it because it's more consistent than the lines that i'm about to show you so this is the lines that i normally hit um after the first lap um they're pretty standard easy laps or easy lines to hit of course i mess that up um this is normally how my first couple of laps go in the race um you want to triple quad triple double out into this here into this it's a nice scrub triple and this is extremely easy to do, and yes, you're able to cut the corner like that. Quad, triple, triple, very easy stuff to do. Um, straight into this corner here, throw it down, hit this whoops. Now, I haven't figured out if these whoops degrade, uh, it'd probably be easy just to throw yourself into those and just rip. But uh, I'm, I'm jumping through them right now. Um, see, now you hit this really hard come right through the tunnel uh you can actually hit it faster but i i get really really nervous going through it because it is very difficult for me to do um the table right here is very difficult to like hit right so i normally always have to shift down to third um hit the double then normally i quad but I, I messed up before that section so anyway um the rhythm that the the 450s i guess are hitting are they're quadding by i think they're quad fiving into this every time which is crazy hard to do because I don't know why. The 250s can't do it. Uh, but we can double, I think we can triple quad double out. And there's the line I normally try to hit on my fast laps. Um, so we'll throw this down here. And then boom. As you can see, the quad's pretty much in a given. Uh, I cased it that time, of course, and I fly off the track. So I'm going to try to go back on. Um, obviously, if you fly off the track, unfortunately, you're not going to be able to go onto the track that easily. Actually, you'll probably get reset to be completely honest um you can hit the inside there um i don't know the track's really fun um the fastest lines seem to be pretty consistent if you can start hitting them well um of course there's not a lot of 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 room to really say that the track is competitive both 250 and 450 the times are crazy different um i think there's like a four second gap between both first places on 250 and 450 each um, and that's just because of the amount of straightaways that there are. The 250 just doesn't have the power to get the ump on the straights. So uh, that's my opinion on it. Um, I think that in general the tourney race for the 250s will be interesting, but the all-star race I'm going to have to throw it onto the, the 450, which means I'm going to have to practice with this. 
and that's going to be a bitch to do. Um, let's say I hit this triple, and then again, I'm going to show the quad off. If I hit it right, yep, hit the quad. Uh, so I'm able to 5 in if I really whip glitch into that, but I'm not whip glitching in this video just because I know it's a lot of people disagree with that for whatever reason. Um, and my argument for that real quick is that whip glitching is in the game, so if it's an option for you to do it, you should do it to get the best advantage possible for you best way you can run the tracks and that's the fastest way you can run that's my opinion whatever if you don't whip glitch not not a big deal so as you can see right there that's what i'm talking about getting crazy into that corner like just die going into that corner that's it's crazy so i'm going to try to hit this triple out here you can triple out here and land downside this and then i think some people are doubling in and then tripling into the finish line uh which is crazy quick but i'm just not consistent enough to actually hit that triple out um so overall, I think that the 450s, you guys are going to have a lot more advantage on this, but the 250s are going to be are extremely fun. Like this is one of those tracks where I think like they find they did really well with the, the scaling of how the 250s and 450s act on the track. Um, of course, you know, people can run those really fast laps, but I think that right now got bands fastest lap, uh, which he's the undisputed fastest 250 rider in the world, whether you agree with that or not. Um, he is the fastest dude on a 250. Um, I think he's got like a 106. 106 right now, really low 106 on this track. Um, and I believe Trubrew has a 103, maybe 102. So it's a, it's a solid distance. I think it's it's not necessarily four seconds, but it's three second different distance between both of them. And I mean, the lines are very similar that they take. Obviously there's a couple that we can't take on the 250. Um, but you know, the amount of pull that you get on the 450 on the straights is just crazy, crazy, crazy. Um, so yeah guys, that's the review of the track. I think the track is really, really fun for you guys. Uh, I think you're going to have a good time. Um, it's definitely one of the best tracks they've done just because, I don't know, I think that's not necessarily the easiest, but it's not the hardest. You know what I mean? Like, uh, anybody can run through laps on this track and all that stuff. It's a frustrating track to get fast laps on. But it is a very fun track overall. I think that there's no necessarily like difficult, difficult rhythms that you have to hit um, to run fast lines. I think it's a very diverse track. Um, as I'm pretty sure you could probably scrub that and and land and then you know double, double, triple here, whatever you want to do, and it's still probably just as fast. Um, I will say the one hard thing is to scrub into these very hard for me to do sometimes i i just have to huck it and sometimes even preload scrub it's a little strange um but other than that the track is really fun to do um I, I really can't say anything else on it because there's nothing really else to talk about um i guess i guess the one thing that i could also say is that the time that you're gonna really lose is gonna be in the sand section um, if you're losing time on a lap, it's because of the sand section. It's the way you hit this. If you're able to make it to the triple on here, great. If you're not able to make it, that's a, actually a big hit to your lap time. Um, it's also down to how you land off of this and take this corner. Um, if you're not taking it well, then you're not going to run a good lap. And here's the quad. Now, see, I failed because I got a half preload, I believe. I didn't know if I got a half preload or not. Let me go back. Uh, we'll try again here. Boom. Get a solid run here. Full preload, get the quad, and then double into the corner. So that's the other 250 alt line there. I think Got Van is also trying to jump onto that, step off, and then I think quad double um, out of this, which is a crazy fast line. That's how he ran his fastest lap. So anyway, guys, I hope you did enjoy this review. Um, hopefully I gave you guys some good insight on the track overall. Uh, it's a really simple track, but also very complicated. If you really think about it, it's not necessarily the easiest to run quick, but once you get it down, it's pretty pretty easy to run consistent lines. So anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, hit that like button. Comment down below what you're excited for to see in the future. I think I've fixed my streams, so you're going to be able to actually see them and not be blurred out and all that crazy stuff. Um, so you'll actually be able to enjoy those now and uh, so yeah guys if you did enjoy it hit that like button Okay, boys and if you do the channel hit that subscribe button. I just demonstrated another way to fly off the track and die um, So yeah, I'm gonna leave my twitch Twitter and the um, Actually, I'm not gonna leave my twitch. I don't use twitch in my Twitter the uh, Xbox gamer tags as well as the squads gamer tags down below in the description and as always guys My name is Moto and I'm out Peace